Hi guys, uh, it's uh, Meg Supreme, uh, just back from Rollout Roll Call, uh, which this year was over at uh, Heathrow. So it's the first time it's been at a, a new venue. Previously it's always been at Southampton. So really enjoyed the weekend. I uh, went there for the whole weekend, so arrived on Friday, uh, came back Sunday evening, so right till the end. Um, so a few things different from previous years. So as well as the change in location, um, there was also all the BotCon exclusives available, as well as the JoeCon exclusives. Um, we also had, uh, I had my own table with my uh, best friend Paul Goodenough. So we had a talk on the Sunday afternoon about um, our comics that we're writing. So just talking about how you sort of go from being a fan to then kind of writing your own comics. Uh, so we had our own little uh, table at, at um, Rollout Roll Call which is great. I also put a load of my customs on display there for people to look at, which is really great. Loads of people came by, came by sorry, and were chatting and talking about the customs, which was really great and really nice for me. Um, had a few out and sold a few as well. So I think I sold about just over 100 quid's worth, um, maybe, maybe more, 125, 130 um, of my customs. Still got a load more. Um, so we'll be going to TF Nation, so what I may do is bring a load of them over there um, and sell them there as well, because uh, they went down quite well. I was selling them the kind of deluxe figures, combiner walls, from, uh, for about 10 quid, um, and other figures cheaper, some more expensive, and things like that. So, and I had some KOs that I was selling there as well. Uh, bought loads of stuff, so some of it, uh, well, not actually loads of stuff, uh, a lot of it was kind of pre-ordered stuff. So. For example, um, we've got the free figure uh, pterosaur here. So got him. And then I also got the Jocon exclusive figure as well, the the attendee one. So I got an um, air raid. So I'm not that into G.I. Joe, but you know, for getting a crossover ticket, you can get this one for free and sell it on eBay if you want to. Um, absolutely fine with that. It's you know. You just get one of those, um, that's cool. I also bought the G.I. Joe um, two pack, so I actually bought that on the, on the day. Um, in fact, I, because of my ticket, I could buy that, so it's £65 for the two. So I'm also gonna sell that one on eBay. So straight away, I'm pretty much getting back the price of my ticket and some. Um, then I also got the uh, Botcon Megatron, so I've opened him up. Uh, so this is the one that everyone's been trying to get hold of. So I've got the Botcon Megatron, so I'll be doing a review of that guy. So it comes with his tech spec and everything. He's all, they're all packaged up, um, sealed. So, you know, they weren't rejects or anything else like that from Botcon. They're all sealed, all in their bags, um, in great conditions. I don't know of anyone that had any QC issues with, the, with them as well. So that's brilliant. Um, and where's the other one? I've got Air Razor as well in here. So sorry, while I search through all my little baggies ah uh, yeah so i've got um air razor here as well so i put her back in a, a different bag here so i've got back on um air razor there so i'll be doing a review of that and then some of the loose stuff i picked up um oh yeah i picked up this um transformers shoe thing uh, which is like a nike nike thing um so they actually had two or two on display perhaps i should have picked up the other one so they had a megatron and optimus prime this one's the Megatron one, which I picked up, uh, which I've got in a bag over here somewhere. I've transformed him into his robot mode. Not sure if I do a review on him, just because he's bloody fiddly. Um, so there you go, you've got uh, Megatron there. That's Ace. Um, I then got this um, Transformers uh, QT3 pack, um, which I got from In-Demand Toys. So if you look, behind the scenes there you can actually see they've got like a background in there like a little um, car garage sort of thing so if you want them on display you can kind of see that um, and it's a three pack it's got um, Soundwave, Megatron and Shockwave so I'll show those off here so you've got them little cars here so that's Megatron that's Soundwave there and Transformed I've got a little baby Shockwave over here, it's pretty cool, and they're all uh, very nice. Um, and then I've got some PG1 bots, but nothing major, just a few quid each. So I've got some of the, the what, 
to call them spark pots or whatever they're called. This one works really well. I uh, got this one as well, kind of in a sort of day glow colours. Uh, this guy as well, just for a bit of fun, uh, for the boys to kind of mess around with. My uh, boys, uh, what else did I get? Oh yes, um, I they all tall stuff had wave two of the Type Masters, so I'm going to be doing a review on those. So I've got all of those. You can see I've I've popped one of the heads on um, Scourge here. And you've got Brawn, uh, so it's Brawn, Eight Face. Clobber, which is Grimlock. So here's some of them here. So you can see, you can see the back there. That's uh, a brawn there. So I will be doing reviews of those. Uh, Eight Face is really cool as well. He's probably my favourite one. Little, little gorilla guy there. So I've got all of those. So move those to one side. Oh, uh, not favourite pterosaur as well. While I'm at it, I picked up a Galvatron. who's only three quid. So, seeing Darth not to pick him up. Um, tender Jazz as well. Uh, I think it's 10 or 15. Um, I picked up a Donatello for two quid. Action Master Devastator as well for four quid. Um, he Man, uh, three DVDs for five pounds. Alternators Shockwave um, here for fiver. Uh, what else did I pick up? Um, uh, Stratos here for three quid. I got him, and then I got some classics here. Uh, these three for five pounds, so that's good. Uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got a couple of mask annuals. So um, I was going to give those um, to my cousin's uh, boys because um, they're into mask at the moment and one of them is into top trumps so I actually got that as part of a prize which was second place in the custom competition um, so I'll be doing a video of the customs that I did for that um, and expectedly the one that I thought was the weakest actually got the second prize which was Mauler which was a Warpath repaint into Mauler um, so that got second prize um, so with it I got uh, this and also I got uh, this as well, so it's like a 3D kind of kit thing uh, for Bumblebee, um, which my son wants me to make. It's going to take absolutely ages to do, so I might have to do that on the weekend, maybe when I've got a bit more time. I think that's it. Oh, the one, because those are all little odds and sods, the, my one major purchase was the San Diego uh, Comic Con Fortress Maximus and the Titan Returns, what was it called? There's a three pack with like Brainstorm, Windblade, and Sentinel Prime. I can't remember what it was called, Titan Force set. So I picked up that. You could pre order it from A1 Toys. Um, there was also a giveaway on the Friday night where two people won that set. Um, not too jealous. Um, there was one boy who, who won it who also came to our talk. And we chatted to him quite a lot and it was actually his birthday over the weekend so that was a great birthday present for him and well deserved uh, but I did pre-order it from A1 Toys they did have it there on display in its box so you could see it um, they were selling very reasonable so it was £160 for San Diego Comic Con Fortress Maximus and I think 60 for the uh, Titan Force set so I've got those on pre-orders I paid for them there and then um, from A1 Toys, um, so they can't send them out until after um, San Diego Comic Con. So I think they can send them out the day after that. So once that takes place, I think it's in a couple of weeks, I should receive it through the post. So I'll be doing a review of that as well. I do also have the um, Hasbro's um, Fortress Maximus on pre order from In Demand Toys, so I'll be doing a review of both and probably just comparing the two. Um, but that's it. I just want to say a big thank you as well to Dave Tree and all the other volunteers and things that that made uh, Rollout Roll Call such a great weekend. Um, it's great to chat to all the different people. I can't remember everyone's name, but um, to all the guys, there's a group of guys that came along. I had a look at my customs uh, that from uh, Wales and came over and watched our talk as well. Really appreciated that and. Um, 
there was uh, a Polish guy as well who came over. Uh, he was with his son for the weekend. He did a really cool video of the whole thing. Um, it was nice, really, really nice to chat to those guys and see their customs that they did. So that was really great. Appreciate you coming on to the talk as well. Um, great to catch up with uh, Dave Mentz and Thew. Uh, they did a really great talk again on the Saturday, uh, which was uh, brilliant, really funny. Dave Shorter did uh, another brilliant talk as well, very, very funny, um, talking about his Star Wars collection, his Admiral Akbar kind of fascination. So that was, that again was uh, brilliant, really uh, one of the highlights of the weekend. Uh, some of the talks were really fantastic. Um, the toys were great, the people were even better. Um, I got to speak to um, Chris as well. Um, is it Chris? Uh, I can't remember your surname, Chris. Um, but he does the Full Force podcast thing. Uh, it was great to speak to him. And his girlfriend was there who did this amazing custom, um, which I'm really surprised didn't win it, hands down. The only thing I can think of is that it it didn't sort of qualify because of the rules that they had, that it has to be a Transformers thing that was G.I. Joe or a G.I. Joe thing that was Transformers, maybe. I, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, Dave won uh, one, one of the categories, um, which I came second in, which was well deserved. He showed me it before he put it in, and I said, "Yeah, that's that's brilliant." Um, you know, the amount of detail and work that's gone into it is absolutely fantastic. So, if you want to check that, go to the Rollout Roll Call um, page, and I think there's some pictures of it he did. Um, this kind of um, what was it, Grimlock from uh, what's it called, War Within. Kind of vehicle mode which was brilliant and the other winner was um is it bloodbath uh, the pretender maybe i've got the name wrong but that was really good he's coming back on this kind of hoverboard thing which was fantastic um i think that's it um oh the other thing as well obviously i went with a couple of mates uh paul water and wayne pitts uh it's great to spend time with you again for this for this one so hopefully Go next to you as well make it three in a row for you guys um and you know paul bought himself a masterpiece ratchet uh which he's very pleased with and uh wayne picked up a few like turtles and bits and pieces i was proud of him as well because i helped him sniff out a few and what he did is he he was after a couple of kind of vintage turtle figures and he managed to get hold of a two and kind of mash them up to make a complete figure so uh pretty cool uh that's it for now guys i'm uh, gonna be doing lots of reviews uh, that are coming up, so I've just got uh, kind of plan my way through it. I think I've got about five or six which are ready to go live anyway. I've got all the Titans Return stuff which I need to review, the Titan Master set which I'll review as well. I've got the Unite Warriors Bruticus, Botcon Megatron, uh, Botcon Pterosaur. I've got um, the next figure in the subscription service 4.0 which has turned up as well today. Oh, uh, loads of stuff. Um, that's it for now guys, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.